Hey, how you doing, big guy? I'm tired. <laughs> Why are we spending Halloween in the middle of nowhere? I'm never gonna get laid out here. Chris, you're the only man alive who didn't get laid at Mardi Gras. What makes Halloween so different? That he gets to wear a mask. Hey, fuck you, Ned. Guys, this trip isn't about getting laid. It's about Halloween. And we're gonna take a little trip over to the dark side. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's not about getting laid. Everything is about getting laid. Yeah, well, with your skill in that department, I can see why it's a concern. Okay, I got something for you. Do you remember these? While the image of you two having sex is truly a frightening thought, I got other things planned for tomorrow night. I don't know what you've got planned, Mike, but um, I'm intrigued. I picked out a killer costume. People started wearing costumes on Halloween to hide from evil. It was the one night of the year when spirits walked the earth. Thank you, Michael Myers. Wait, wasn't Halloween a festival that was celebrated by the Druids? It was called Sam Hate or something? There is life on Mars. Don't, 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 don't listen to him, Lisa Ann. You've been reading up on it? No, I saw a special on the Discovery Channel. Hackett? Hackett. 
famous by the handiwork of the highwayman. The what? Y you know, the serial killer who never got caught. Target lone motorists and run them off the road. He'd torture them until they revealed their deepest fears. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just a warning. This is not a conversation uh, most of the locals will appreciate. Two locals in particular I can't wait to meet. Good to see you. Oh, my. Oh. Everyone, this is my grandmother. Uh, you can call her Mams. Hey, Mams. Where's your John? Oh, it, it's inside to the right. Actually, it's to the left, you know, but the extra work builds character. <laughs> These are my best friends. Uh-huh. That's uh, Jennifer, mm -hmm. Ned, Lunch. Lisa Ann. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the guy with the bladder problem is Chris. Mm. Um, and this is Peg. Oh, well, I'm glad to meet you all. <laughs> and I made up the extra bedrooms, but I'm afraid a couple are going to have to share. Do I have any volunteers? Well, uh, actually, uh, maybe, I mean, uh, Peg and I could, I mean, if... if oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to meet you, my dear. I've really oh. been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, how long have you known each other? Four and a half years. Four and a half years. And no ring? Well, you stick with me, kid. We'll make Michael tie that knot. <laughs> uh, well, that's enough of that talk. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's Grandfather? Grandfather's hiding inside. Now, I expected two more of your friends. Uh, Mitch and Trish are coming on their own. They'll oh, be here soon. I see. Well, then why don't you just go in and wash up before bed? I'll follow afterwards. <laughs> Come on. Where do you go? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Oh, careful. That's, um, that, that's... Oh, please. There's no such thing as women's work on this farm. Heavy. 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 Oh, I got them all settled. And I've put you in your old room. <laughs> oh. Peg seems like such a nice girl, Michael. Mm -hmm. hmm. What is it? A uh, house girl. Is he around? Yes, he's um, he's upstairs in his place. So how is he? Michael, he's really looking forward to, to seeing you. Chris, get out of here! I'm changing. Oh. All right, I'll go check on them. Michael, go up and see him. He's expecting you. Aren't you forgetting someone? I should thank you to greet your kin before the hired help. Of course. How are you, grandfather? What's so important about seeing Crow tonight? Well, it's nothing. If young people were always doing nothing as they claim to be, there wouldn't be any need for parents, would there? Now, what is it, boy? Just, uh, want to see him again, that's all. Let sleeping dogs lie.
see you, Crow. It's good to see you. So, is this it? You think it'll work? Are your friends ready? Yeah, well, uh, they, they're here. They brought their costumes, so... What have you told them? Nothing. If your friends are true, and you are prepared to face your fears, the ceremony will cleanse you. And as leader of the ceremony, you must wear this. Death mask. Looks like it. You must see through his eyes, breathe through his nose, and speak through his mouth. Then you will enter the dream state. It is there you must overcome your fear. So what's that? Raven's wing. As long as I told him wears it. Evil's held until we banish it forever. Evil? Where? Cool. This thing part of Halloween extravaganza? Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. It's not a very nice surprise. This is my old friend, Crow. Ugly sucker. Morty was carved by my ancestors many generations ago to help ward off the advances of the white man. I guess it didn't work. He spent 60 years working as a mannequin in a men's shop. Some believe he's a vessel of evil spirits. Others think that he's just a dummy. He's been around for as long as I can remember. Morty. It's part of Mike's family. He has become the totem of his ancestors and his descendants to be. Morty is a name chosen by Mike's father. Morty. Chris, it's getting old. Morty. <laughs> hey, it's Mitch. Yeah, it's about time. Maserati, this is 185. You guys both got bad taste. Maybe you both should be rock stars. Very fine. I'm Trish. Thanks for coming. Hi. Miss, this is Mabs. Welcome. Mr. Mr. Hi, let's all go in. It's very nice real estate. I'm glad you like it. Oh, okay, darling. Let's go. Hi, Hi. 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 H
That's why I asked each of you guys to, to explore that side of your nature, find that fear, and create a costume that represents it. Oh, this sounds so exciting. I know exactly the costume that I'm going to wear. And Grandfather will come as a rodent. <laughs> no, no, oh, he's terrified of rats. <laughs> and if all goes right, at the end of the ceremony, all our fears will be banished forever. Banished forever, huh? <laughs> well, then I'm gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a big, pussy zit. I'll be a fat chick with saggy tits. <laughs> so, Mike, how are you dressing up as Fear of Commitment? <sighs> hey, this is serious, you guys. The only way this is gonna work is if we pull something from the deepest, darkest part of our soul. Otherwise, we allow the true fear the opportunity to destroy us. So, you all brought your costumes? Yep. Yeah, of course. Sure. Of course. Of course. Good. Everything's ready. So, tonight... Damn! That rings a bell. Wasn't there some sort of a serial killer around here that got off on making people tell their fears or something like that? Oh, grandfather. Oh, oh right. you're bleeding. I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh. oh. Get away from me! Relax, it's just a bit of blood. Yeah, well, I don't want it near me, okay? Right, we'll go in the kitchen. Guess we know what she's afraid of. <laughs> hey, I guess you missed the don't mention the serial killers around the local speech. Yeah. The only way this is gonna work is if you guys take this seriously. He actually thinks it's gonna work. between Mr. and Mrs. J. Crew? Sort of. Is he tramping around? No, nothing like that. It's been four and a half years, good years, but it still feels like we're dating. That's not so bad. Not in the way you'd want. Are you looking for a gold ring? It's not a bad start. But you're not sure if he's the one. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm not sure, and lately it's getting worse. <sighs> My mother once gave me two questions to ask myself about a man. I only wish I had listened to her before I got married twice. What are they? Well, number one, do you think he has the same ideas you do about children and a family? Absolutely. And number two, this one's important. Imagine you're 60 years old and you're in a rowboat out in the middle of the lake and you're having a great time doing nothing. Is he the one sitting next to you? Absolutely. It's never too late to play hard to get. I'm worried about him. He's been really stressed lately, and he's been having dizzy spells. And uh, I want to talk to him anyway. Thank you.
Mike? Mike, I'm sorry about that thing I said at breakfast. I know that you've been really stressed lately, but I don't know why. And if it's about me, then we should talk. And if it isn't about me, then we should still talk. At least I'm trying. Could you say something? I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. It wasn't meant to be. What the hell were you doing in that mask? I just wanted to see what it felt like. Michael, I need to know what's bothering you. Listen to me, Peg. There's some things you don't know about me and my family. It's OK, Mike. You can tell me. OK, you know those dizzy spells I've been telling you about? They've been getting worse. Mike. Let me finish. They're more than just dizzy spells. I've been blacking out, losing time. And my father had the same problem. Do you think it caused your parents' accident? My parents didn't die in a car accident. My father murdered my mother, and then he hung himself. I saw the whole thing. Michael. I was five years old. I know what you're thinking, okay? Alcoholism runs in the family. Uh, child abuse passes on from one generation to the next. Am I going to be my own father's son? Michael, I wasn't thinking that at all. I wasn't thinking anything of the kind. Well, you should have been, okay? Because that's all I can think about. I'm sorry, Peg. I have these dreams, these horrible dreams. And I'm starting to lose control of them. I just thought with this mask and you and Crow and all my friends around me, I can face it. You see? I don't know. Peg, you can help me. He killed my mother, and then he took his own life. But he's not going to have mine. Michael, you're scaring me. You don't know how scared it is, Peg. Until you wake up in the middle of the night and see the things that I've seen. Again! 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 And again! And again! that much anyway. Where's Peg? Uh, she just came through. She went upstairs.
like Peg and Mike are getting along pretty good. Oh, well, let's go listen. Oh, what the hell was that? Halloween, everybody. This blood pellet tastes like shit. Asshole. I don't know why Mom stopped me from drowning you. <laughs> it's all the ruckus. Nothing. Just my brother being a moron. Morty. You okay? Yeah. I'm really starting to lose it. I actually thought that he was being attacked by Morty. <laughs> hey. Hey. It was a joke. Not a very good one, but just a joke. That piece of wood did not attack Chris. Yeah. But I might. I know it'll make you feel better. His arm is damaged. Oh, I'm sorry. Your sorries won't fix it. It was a joke. This is a spiritual symbol. As I would never joke with your crucifix or your holy mother. You should not joke with Morty. Virgin Morty. Lay off, Chris. Virgin Morty. <laughs> Tell Michael that I have work in the barn, but I will fix Morty. The ceremony will go on as planned tonight. Why are you always standing up for that little shit? Why is it always my fault? Because you're the one making the demands. Demands? Like having you talk to me? You can be such an asshole. Don't start with me, Peggy. Oh, is that a threat? Why don't we all just relax? It was a stupid prank. I'm sorry, OK? Stay out of this. What are you doing? Hey, somebody help. Trick or treat package, bro. Shit. <laughs> Ow! And you said my gymnastics classes were a waste. Oh. <laughs> missing our curtain call. We were great. Yeah, but we didn't stick to the script. A too close to home. For the look on Chris's face, it was worth it. I don't know. Didn't feel right. Please stop worrying, Mike. You were nothing like your father. Check on Crow and Morty. <sighs> Listen, Crow, uh, about the ceremony. You have second thoughts. Crow, sometimes I wish you'd let me say what's on my mind before you tell me what I'm thinking. Well, I'm not psychic. But I uh, did find this in a cemetery this morning. This morning I told Peg about my father. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she took it pretty well, considering. <laughs> well, she's a good woman. Yeah, I know.
Your father was a good man. Oh, no, my father... <laughs> he was a good man, and he was a bad man. His fears just got to be strong, and the good man was lost. Michael, you have to do the ceremony to master your own fears before they grow too strong. But this is just a hunk of wood. Yeah, well, this hunk of wood will become your greatest fear. And you'll kill it. What are you afraid of? Horses. Horses? Horses? Only Indian I ever seen afraid of horses. I want you to stop telling that boy those stories. We were just talking. He's got enough to worry about without his father's ghost hanging over him. We all have ghosts. Stop those stories or I'll stop you myself. Okay. Somebody? Mike, if you can't be quiet, then you know what's gonna happen. Get back to your friends. <laughs> he 
could beat you with a punch, huh? What are you talking about? Okay, fine. But she's a cutie. I wanted to go for a swim, but I can't seem to get the pool heater to work. Oh, I, I can't stand the water. So you're not gonna help me? Unless you want to be a third wheel with your friends. Hey, where's Mike? He went up to the attic. Again? Hey, he's uh, getting ready for tonight. I wish I knew what he was up to. Believe I let you talk me into this. Well, you know, you and me, we need a little uh, QT. Oh, shit. It, you do know where we're going, huh? Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Oh, okay, well, then you lead the way. You're the man. You're supposed to be better with directions. Uh, ooh, well, I, I think the house is that way. Okay, okay, I'm trying. Um, you know, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get dark soon. I don't want to be out here when it's dark. the Bible. You don't remember? I'm very religious. Wow, that's a real turn on. What? A beautiful girl that believes in God. Most guys find that intimidating. Not me. I'm, uh, I'm religious myself. I, I just like to keep it to myself. Religion and politics should be private. You're into politics too? Uh-huh. Aren't you? Well, yeah, of course. You're a lot deeper than I thought. Thanks, Mitch. You know, most people think that I'm just a pretty face. But if you take the time, there's a lot more to discover. Well, I always did think you were the prettiest girl in school. <sighs> yeah. But now that I'm... Now that I'm seeing a new side of you, I'm realizing that you're even prettier than that. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, uh, I mean, your, your beauty comes from deep down. Your intelligence, your confidence, it shines through. That's what makes you beautiful. What about Trish? It's, uh, it's a relationship of convenience. Well, you're right about one thing, bitch. Hey, I, I am smarter than I look.
rich. Oh, pretty good for an accountant. Speak softly, but carry a big stick. Sorry to break up the party, but could someone help me down, Mitch? How'd you get up there? Never mind how I got up here. Just help me down. Come on. I'll catch you. No way. What kind of a guy are you? Come on. Come up here and get me. I'm a tree. Like no more Maserati for you. Okay. Heights. I got dizzy. Try fainted. We should probably all get into our costumes. It's getting late. It's been a real hoot. You okay? You red nose. <laughs> Clowns have always scared me. Mm, really? Are you an evil witch? No. no. I'm darkness. I'm scared of the dark. I, I, I always have been. Drives grandfather crazy. You know, all the night lights and such. What can I help with? Well, I'm fine with the cooking, but you know you could start setting the table. All this talk about fears has really made me jumpy. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Butterfingers. <laughs> Peg. Yes? What are you wearing? Claustrophobia. <laughs> That's very clever. I've always felt safe in small places. Oh. Oh. Bozo was my favorite growing up. <laughs> well, then I guess we're even. <laughs> <laughs> After you. <laughs> Your jaws. <laughs> Saw the movie and uh, <laughs> haven't been in the water since. <laughs> Good one, brother. Ooh, um, fear of decisions. He's never made one. That's not true. I decided to wear this. <laughs> oh, that must have been a real tough one. Hey, that hurts coming from someone wearing a cardboard box. <laughs> is anyone hungry? Hmm? Starving. Yeah, me too. What is that? It's stew, and so thick a mouse could trot on it. Oh, what's in it? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> it's chicken beaks, mm, spider hairs, and it's a brew, not a stew. We're all going under an evil spell. That's right, my pretty ones. And I am going to shrink your heads and go bobbing for them, just like apples. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ooh, look at you. Fake snakeskin. I bought it at Billy Martin's. Mmm. Versace? No. Christophe Angel. <gasps> Blood red. You like the dress? Must have cost a fortune. It was free. Who'd you have to kill? I put it on my credit card. Well, that's not free, Lisa Ann. I'm gonna return it when we get home. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I'm not afraid of anything, so I'll be going naked tonight. <laughs> oh, now I'm afraid. You've already scared me half to death. Mitch, that's lame. No, Mitch, that's cool. Thank you. Well, if you're not gonna play along, I'll tell everybody for you. He's a big baby when it comes to heights. Let's set the table. Well, okay.
being in his bedroom. He's being a party pooper. Well, I got something to get this party on. Mm. Shots. Mm. You know, may maybe I should have a drink. Well, that's the spirit. Where's Mike? Ah, oh, our fearless leader. He must be waiting to make a grand mm. entrance. Forget him. Let's eat. Oh! Don't move. Oh, Mike? Yeah, it's me. It's about time, man. Turn on the lights. Let's see your costume. Uh, not yet. I have something to say. I know I've been acting a little weird the last couple days. It's because I've been trying to build up the courage for this moment. Well, the moment has come, Michael. Oh, oh he's afraid of formal wear. <laughs> Michael, are you? You're right, Peg. Uh, I was afraid of commitment, but I'm not anymore. All that other stuff, it's not important. You're what's important. So, so Peg. One of the fuses must have blown. Oh, and I'm so scared of the dark. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. There's got to be a candle here someplace. Oh, oh, what tragic timing. Michael, Michael, will you come downstairs with me and, and help me change the fuse, all right? And in the meantime, there's some candles and, and lanterns in the upstairs closet are up for you all. And look, we'll be back in just a minute. Come on, Michael. I'll be waiting for you. I'm so excited for you. I don't want anything to go wrong for your big day. <laughs> now there's the box. Oh! 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 oh. My God, Crow. How, how did he get here? My, Michael, it, it, it's okay. I took care of everything just like I did for your father. This isn't where I left the body. Saw a hot-looking cedar out there. Maybe Morty's making some moves. Isn't there some unfinished business? The reason we really came all the way up here? Well, hang on a sec. I mean, Jen will want to see this. Isn't that her costume? Oh, probably didn't fit in the bathroom. Come on, Jen. Finish up. Get your perky ass out here. You're holding up the party. Hey, Jennifer. What's that? convinced us that the spirit of your dead father is in a mannequin trying to kill people. Your father was a serial killer? Look, I needed you all up here to help me. Help you what? The whole idea of tonight's ceremony was to put my father's spirit to rest. I don't see any reason why we're sticking around. Let's get out of here. No. We have to destroy Morty. Mike, for once I think he's got a point. We should get out of here. I don't understand what went wrong. Crow said that with the talisman, there would be nothing to fear. Hey, Mike, Morty is a hunk of wood! He didn't kill anybody! Hey, if we're looking for suspects, where's that big Indian? I haven't seen him for hours. C 
Crow didn't kill anyone. How do you know? Because Morty got to him first. Crow's body's in the cellar. Well, if it's not Crow, then who is it? <clears throat> not to be uh, disrespectful, ma'ams, but uh, the only person not accounted for is your husband. Oh, no. There's one other guy who could have done it, and that's you, Mike. Oh, that's true, Mike. You weren't with us. Okay, believe me, okay? I thought the same thing myself. But look at me, Th there's no blood on me. Huh? How could I have done it? Blood washes off. It was Morty. Who's ever responsible, we have to leave now. Let the police take care of it. They, they can't help. She's right, I'm leaving. <sighs> Mike, we should get out of here. <sighs> Is anybody listening to me? We can't leave now, it'll only get worse. Look, I've heard enough. And I'm packing up my stuff. Mitch, the Maserati's in the garage. Please, you guys. I need your help. Sorry. We have to go now. Peg? I'm not abandoning Mike. I gotta deal with this. Some friends you are, what happened to sticking together? This is just fabulous. I want you to leave. Now, save yourselves. There's been enough harm done in this house. There just can't be any more. Come on. Let's just get packed up and get out of here. Come on. I need to find grandfather. I can't leave my sister. <sighs> All right. We should stick together. I'll come with you. I'll stay with Lisa. Ann. Okay, pig. I know this must sound insane to you. Mike, listen. You gotta trust me, okay? I know what's happening here. Mike, I trust you. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I should pack. I know you're scared. I am too. Like being this close to death that just makes everything seem more alive. What are we looking for? Morty. What do we do when we find him? I don't know. Yes, I do. It must have come off. What is it? It's a talisman. We gotta find Morty. We gotta put it around his neck. And the killing will stop. Okay. If that's what eases your mind, then let's go and find Morty. Shh. It's okay, you found Morty. See, he's only wood. What happened? You passed out, but it's okay now, I'm here. Mitch. Yeah? Do you think we're gonna die? I don't know. That thing you said about feeling more alive when you're close to death. Hold me. Here's the last place we saw him. The lights went out just as, as... I should finish what I started. Not now, not under these circumstances. Mike. Yes? Forget about all of this. Everything that's happened today. Now imagine that you're 60 and you're in a boat in the middle of a lake. Who's with you? What? Don't think, just answer. I don't know. My trusty dog, Yeller. Oh, and some 
old crab complaining about the cold, like she always does. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find morning and finish this. Peg, you always understand about everything. I promise, when this is over, I want to do this properly. the others in the car. No. Is he? No. He's breathing. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck. Holy fucking shit. Mike's up here, you better come. I'll be right there. Mitch is dead. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, Trish. Michael would never kill anyone. What happened? I did not do this. I gotta find Morty, so you'll believe me. I believe you, Michael. You should.
do this. God in this house. Michael. I killed Peg. And the others. It's all my fault. No, you didn't. Uh... Yes, I did. I'm trying to convince myself that it's not... It's not me, but... It's true. I'm just like my father. Michael, enough. It was Morty killed Crow. He's the one who... Locked me in this. What? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I saw you going out to the barn, trying to find me. I saw you faint. I wanted to help you, but Morty came out of the barn and drug you back inside. I followed, and Morty was waiting for me. With Crow's dead body. Poor soul. Did Peg? And the others? Morty. We've got to figure out a way to stop him and end this nightmare. Crow said all I need are these. See on us all. Mams refuses to come. She says she won't leave her grandson. Look, we gotta get the hell out of here now. Wait, what about Peg? Hold on, there she is. Peg, thank God. Peg, your hand, are you all right? Yes, dear, but you're not. Mike, take off this fucking map! I know how you must feel, Michael. You still doubt yourself. I've been there too. You mean the fear? You had too? I had the urge, but I fought it off. Your father wasn't strong enough. But I think you are. No, I'm not. I'm not strong enough to break this door down by myself. Can you help me? Now get me up. This old bull can still charge if he gets his legs under him. Afraid of decisions, are we? Well, here's a killer for you. You want me to rip out your heart or tear off your head? Fuck you, Morty! Okay, all of the above it is. You. Is that any way to talk to your father? Stephen, don't do this. You stay out of this, Dad. Son? It's all right, Michael. Come to me. Michael. Come to your father. You can do it.
Michael. <laughs> what are you, one of Morty's creations? Mikey, it's me, Peg. Are you okay? No, Peg's dead. No, it's me. Please believe me. I promise. No, 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 you were in the attic. No, I looked everywhere for you, but not in the attic. Don't you come any closer. One of you is Morty. Please. How can I convince you I'm not Morty? Okay. You're 60. You're in a rowboat in the middle of the lake. Who's with you? My trusty dog, Yeller, and some old crab who's complaining about the cold. Nature, I am not your son. It's your fear. You were not my father. Well, maybe it's time for another blackout, or maybe we should keep you awake this time. It might be a little more terrifying. No, I am not you. Well, Michael, you should be quiet. You know what's going to happen. Oh, 
can see the fear in your eyes. What are you afraid of, Morty, huh? Termites? Or is it fire, huh? I'm gonna clear cut your ass. afraid of the water anymore. Oh, please. Let, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, what are we gonna tell the police? Tell them the truth. Something attacked us. You mean somebody? Who would believe the truth? Yeah, what exactly is the truth? I mean, was that really your father? <laughs> he didn't commit suicide, did he? Yes, he did. But the Indians say that suicides never rest. It's over now. It's finished. I thought I needed this. You did. But you don't anymore. Thank you. 